Hi everyone, welcome to Nicks and Axe. It's Maria. So today I'm showing you these beautiful centerpieces. I'm going to show you how to do the silver one, but it'll be exactly the same process for the other piece. So I started with this um, beautiful eucalyptus branch and I took the white acrylic paint and I painted uh, my branch to kind of give it that um, sort of snow touched look and feel. Um, if you could see it's I didn't color the bottom part I just did um, all around the sides where you could see it but I'm going to be adding this to the vases I'm going to be adding the vases onto that piece but below that I'm going to use as a base this just piece of scrap wood that I had I used the same white acrylic paint and I painted it and then you can see there that white um, piece of scrap wood and what it looks like so I'm going to be putting that together along with the branches. These are some of the materials that I'm going to use. I've got some little cute gold bells, some um, silver decorations. I've got some of those pine cones which we're going to paint make look pretty like white snow. And I've got some of those Dollar Tree decorations. I found that cute little one that we could, looks like little wreaths. Um, some silver uh, pieces that's a little dove and we're going to use one of those for the center piece. And then I also have some of that um, wreath. Uh, it's not real, but we're gonna paint it. And then we also have some additional decorations. I may or may not use those, but you know, I wanted to have those handy in case I need to add. So first, I'm going to um, add the paint into that same acrylic white paint. And I'm going to start adding that to the wreath pieces. And as you can see, it's super easy. Um, it does give it that sort of snow um, or uh, that the, the white snow effect on the these pieces. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. And I only have two pieces that are um, that I'm going to use, um, and that's more than enough for this particular um, centerpiece that I'm working on. And I just brush along everywhere just make it seem like it's the snow that's touched it and let's give it a little bit of that color that white color um, and just that that particular acrylic paint it um, dries a little bit matte and it's perfect and that's what I'm gonna do to those both pieces right there next I'm going to add that same effect of that snow onto my decorative pieces which is the pine cones and um, some of those uh, little uh, gold bells and for the pine cone this one I already had a little hint of green onto it and so um, I just went ahead and added the uh, the white as you can see as I'm brushing it on it's um, it's gonna have that sort of dual effect of those two colors um, a lot that, that will match perfectly with the those wreath pieces I just used and the gold, I also wanted to do the same. You know, add some of that white, make it seem like maybe snow has dropped on it, and so it'll look really pretty. And you'll have those two tones, the, the silver or snowflake effect, and then the gold around it. And that other pine cone piece, that one doesn't isn't a two-tone, it's just the natural um, brown color, and I'm just adding that white the same to give it that same effect. Um, but it goes perfect. It'll pull with that natural um, brown and white tones onto the silver and the green. Super easy. Um, I'm painting it all around because I'm going to use, um, for this particular one, I'm going to use the bottom, the base that's going to show up at the top. Um, and then for the green one, I'm going to use the, the, the corner top to stand out. So I want to make sure all the areas are uh, painted. And so those are the only other um, decorative pieces where we'll add the white acrylic paint to. Everything else is already shimmery and it's got its own little decorations on it. So we won't need to do anything else. Um, and you can paint these pine cones any other color, whatever theme you'd like to do. Now I'm doing a silver and gold um, theme, but you can do any color. So now we're going to add the votive candle holders onto the eucalyptus branch and I'm using lots of hot glue. You will notice that I already attached the eucalyptus branch to the scrap board that we painted white um, and you can use screws on that or you can use hot glue. I did the screws just to make sure that they were safe and secure since we've got some of those glass candle holders on top. 
and again just adding lots of glue to make sure that it attaches perfectly onto the um, the branch my branch is round but um, it it actually just sits perfectly the candle holders onto the branch so I don't have to worry about them toppling over or moving around um, but if you have something that if you have a branch keep in mind if you have some you know bulky pieces sticking out that you know it, it will be hard to attach but if it's a little bit on the round side you'll be perfectly fine with um, just hot gluing them down and want to make sure that it's safe and secure so you give it enough time to actually um, for the glue to adhere and now we're going to add the um the decorative greenery the wreath pieces that we use and if you if you've seen my um reindeer centerpiece um that's the same exactly the same um wreath material that i used from that walmart um seven dollar uh, um decorative piece and so I, those were the last two pieces that I had left so I used those on to the um, to attach to this and it worked out perfectly because I only needed those last two little pieces and sorry but my camera keeps going out of focus so hopefully it won't be that bad for the rest of the video now we're gonna add that second piece but I do want to show you how it's gonna look from um, so I'm gonna turn it around so you can actually see um, as I'm attaching it and see sort of where I'm adding it into the, the piece. Um, you can decorate both sides so that if you're, you know, putting it in the center of your table, you can have decorations on both sides and so it'll look great. In this case for me, I'm adding the, um, the greenery to both sides. However, I'm only going to be using uh, the one of the sides and that's where I'm going to focus on adding all my decorations um, because it'll be sort of up against the wall so but you can decorate all around so that you will have a beautiful view from whichever place uh, you're looking at that so there you go I've added those two pieces and look I mean just with that it looks absolutely beautiful but of course we're gonna continue we're gonna add more of our decorations so we're gonna add this pine cone that we've already colored we added the um the white frost with that acrylic paint and make sure to use lots of glue so that you can uh make sure it's fully secured in there and it won't pop out if you're moving it around and um, you always have to give it some extra time these particular pine cones were a little on the heavy side so you'll notice that i need uh, you know a little extra glue more than i normally use um so that they could uh stay onto the branch um, so use as much as you think you'll need and give it as much time as needed as well so that uh, the glue dries and it'll stay in place. And if you um, have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love that. That would be great. Um, I do have a lot more projects coming up so you'll uh, be able to uh, get notified um, on my new projects as they come up. And um, if you like this project as well, um, please go ahead and hit the like button. That'd be awesome. So now I'm going to add the little jingle bells, those gold color jingle bells that we painted with a little bit, refrosted a little bit with that white uh, acrylic paint. Um, it's I this piece. I mean, as I'm adding more of the decorative um, items, I, it's just coming along so great, and it's super easy. Um, and this is not going to be expensive at all it's i mean just the votive candle holders they're just three dollars the branch i happen to have in my backyard and if you like to walk out in the park sometimes you'll find you know little pieces that have fallen off of the trees and you can certainly collect those and and you know you can make a natural um you know centerpiece with all those and for free so um you know this is very inexpensive the uh, little jingle bells I had uh, from also used some of those in the reindeer centerpiece. So a lot of the, uh, the decorations I'm using were leftovers from other projects and just a couple of other things that I used that are new, but such as this dove, um, I found a little pack, but that was just a dollar at the Dollar Tree store. So, and I um, got four of those and I'm only going to use one. So I'm hot gluing it into that center uh, uh, candle holder. Keep in mind that if you're going to use um, candles that you're going to lit up, light up, 
um, the votive may get hot. So that hot glue that you use to attach the dove or whatever piece you're using there, it may melt off. I'm going to use LED candle uh, lights, so that's not going to be a problem. So instead of, if you're going to use candles, make sure you attach that dove piece to the wood and not the, the votive um, candle holder. And then I've added the little uh, silver um, uh, round uh, decorative pieces, and those are just perfect. I'm giving it that extra time to make sure they're secure in there. Um, I find that when I'm hot gluing to the uh, to the um, wreath pieces, they don't attach as easily, so I give it some extra time. And now I'm going to add this last little piece I found at the Dollar Tree. It's like beautiful little wreath. Um, it's got that brown tone and then it's got little pearls around it and I just thought it would be super cute to add that into that centerpiece. Uh, you can certainly use, um, you know, uh, other uh, material. You can use bows um, that have some shimmer into it and as I said, any other color theme that you want to use, please go ahead and do that. I'm going to try to secure, it's got wire and so I'm going to try to secure that in place, um, but I'm going to first take a look and see how much I'm going to need and then I'm going to go ahead and then cut uh, to the size that I need with some wire cutters and then I can go ahead and place it into the uh, center piece. So here I've already, you could see I've already cut the piece to size and now I'm just going to gently move it around in place and, and find uh, a, where it fits best um, in the center piece. And that's actually the last little bit. I did have some of those other small little uh, foam silver and white pieces, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I think this is all that this piece will need. I'm going to hot glue that last little piece so it stays in place. And I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to call it quits right there. I, that's like an awesome piece right there. I'm going to clean up and um, show you what that final piece looks like. Isn't this amazing, guys? I mean, for a few bucks, maybe six, seven dollars, you've got an amazing, beautiful centerpiece. Because this is a um, sort of silver, white, and gold, these are traditional colors. You can use it year round. Um, but for the holidays, it's absolutely stunning, perfect, amazing. I added these LED candles to the um, the candle holders, and I love it. You can also use just regular, those smaller candles and um, light those up and those will look great. So here's that second piece I showed you at the beginning of the video. Um, this is a more natural looking color, and I wanted to show you that, and I used different votives, but... I hope you get to try this um, project. It's super easy, as you could see. Um, if you try this, please share uh, your picture and would love to see that. I look forward to seeing you on the next video and more to come. Have a great day. Bye.